Hey everybody, welcome back to Fair Day Research. It's uh, Thursday morning and I decided to do some work on my uh, Don Smith generator. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, bottom right hand corner. Also my links are in the uh, description for my Patreon page if you want to uh, uh, help donate and uh, fund my research and all this technology that I've been working on for the last while. So I decided to throw the uh, Don Smith generator back on the bench again. And uh, my, my big thing was I wasn't getting the power into DC properly. And I realized that the bridge rectifiers I had, this one here, I blew the crap out of it. And also the small one here, I also blew the crap out of this too. So when you're working with the Don Smith generator, uh, use the proper diodes. So uh, these are rated for 15 kVA. Um, diode bridge so I made one and I just twisted them together I'm gonna make a better rig for it but uh, yeah so I hooked up a better bridge rectifier now I can get this damn motor going so yeah uh, you know make sure you have the proper bridge rectifier for this high voltage because it will fry ones that are not rated for it so hey a lesson learned right so check this out. So now I got it set up. I can actually get a DC motor to run. So check this out. There you go. I got the DC motor running. And all the same kind of setup. Now the thing is, I got to work on the uh, capacitance of this. So um, I figure I'm going to have to, after the spark gap, I'm going to have to add some capacitors either the high voltage ones or i'm going to have to add uh, capacitor dc capacitors here for, before i go to my dc load so that i'm going to have to toy around with but like i said <laughs> make sure you're using the right diodes for your bridge rectifier because you will blow the crap out of them and yeah i obviously i blew the ones that i had because i wasn't getting any voltage out of them you know what the heck's what the heck's going on so uh, I knew I had these high voltage ones, so I uh, looked up the schematic online and hooked them up, and there we go. So yeah, I can get a DC electric motor running now. Now I, obviously I gotta work on the efficiency because I'm putting nine volts in, so that's 9,000 volts. And then because of the switch over, you lose a lot of that potential. So this motor I think starts running around eight to nine volts. So that means you got a huge drop. So therefore, I have a capacitance issue in this. So either I'm going to try putting more capacitors before it goes to my coil, because I got it, um, it goes through my spark gap, comes out my spark gap, goes through my giant coil, and then from the giant coil goes to the bridge rectifier, and then you hook up your, your leads to your uh, diode bridge. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, now I know what the hell was going on. And uh, now I won't blow my bridge because I got the proper rated uh, diodes for this. So yeah, get get 10 to 15 kV rated uh, diodes because you're going to need it. Now also the spark gap is very, very small. Now because of that, it's drawing a lot of amps. So now what I have to do is I got to build up the capacitance in the system to hold some of it and then release it slowly into the system so I won't be pulling a huge amount of amps coming out of my uh, my load. So, but at least I got it going. So now I know this is working. So I'm on the right track. So, you know, you live and learn, right? So you make mistakes and uh, you realize some components, you're gonna blow the crap out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this little result I got. See, now I know I got some good DC voltage coming out, and I know it takes 8 to 10 volts to get this thing running under nor normal conditions just with a direct DC uh, power supply to it. So I know I'm getting at least 8 volts DC, but the thing is I got to work on the back end now because it's drawing too much amperage. So as soon as I get the amount of capacitors I need in the system, whether it's after the bridge rectifier or before the bridge rectifier, that's yet to be seen. So 
uh, yeah, we'll go from there and, uh, yeah, you know, in baby steps, you know, I, look how long it's taken me to get this far. So, you know, this is part of research. You have to test stuff. You have to, um, make sure your components are, uh, in, in order and operational and working properly. Otherwise, if they're not, you don't get the results. And today I got some results. So I'm pretty happy with that. And, uh, yeah, I chalk this one up as a victory, and uh, we're going to move on from there. I'm going to start toying around with some capacitors, and yeah, see where it leads. And maybe, and maybe, I might be able to start charging super caps. If I can do that with this system, oh man, sky's the limit. So, yeah, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget, subscribe, bottom right-hand corner, and more videos are coming. Don't forget to help support me in my Patreon and uh, I'll be putting more schematics in the Patreon. So um, I've had a few people asking me for schematics and stuff like that. Yeah, I have no problem doing it, but I'll do visual in YouTube and the rest of the stuff is going to be in Patreon. So you can get all that, all those diagrams. Um, I think I might even start posting some of the drawings and concepts that I have in my Bible. And I'll start putting that in my Patreon and in my Patreon only. So, uh, you know, I have to give something to my subscribers. So, anyways, yeah, good things are coming. I'm looking into getting sponsors for the uh, for our channel. So, it'll help get me some revenue since I'm out of work. So, I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, I'll be doing shows with Bernie still. So, you can check out Bernie at uh, Crypto Alchemist. His link will also be in the description. And yeah, right on. We got a good day. So everybody have a great day and we'll see everybody soon.